They sit you down at the table. Then they put about two to three hundred shell cases in front of you and ask you to examine them. At all times, there is a huge barrel right beside you. It goes on and on and on, and when they notice that the number of shell cases on the table is starting to diminish, they make other shell cases tumble down like a sack of potatoes. Imagine the noise that could cause. It's copper. It's always this way. It never ceased. So we were about 20, sitting as if we were on school benches, the rows placed two feet from one another. There was always one whose table was empty. It was always like that. At the Côte du Palais, we worked on 303 caliber casings, which resembled small revolver bullets. At that time, 303s were manufactured in St. Malo, and we inspected the shell cases as well as the primers. When I was hired, one of my sisters was working there. I was working at Donahue as an apprentice seamstress, and there was no more work for me. She said to me, come work with me, make your lunch and come with me. And that's precisely what I did. I made my lunch, and the next morning, I went with her and they took me on right away. I began working on a part, and once I finished it, I asked them to have a look to verify whether it had been done properly. They told me yes, and seeing that I had paid careful attention to my work, they assigned me other parts. Things carried on like that until it became routine for us to do this work. People pretty much stuck together. So if one of us had a problem, another one would go lend her a hand, help her out best she could. As such, I didn't have any problems. Things went well. This definitely gave us a certain financial independence. We could spend the money we earned as we wished, even if we gave a small portion to our parents. When we needed an item of clothing, we would go buy it ourselves and think, it's my money, I can spend it as I wish. I believe that it is from that moment on that women began going out into the workforce. Many women, such as me, had never worked outside the house. They had always stayed at home. These openings came along, so we took advantage of them. They were looking for people to work. They had a real need, so it was easy for us to go to work. They really made things easy for us for those who genuinely wanted to work. Would I go back? In a heartbeat. If they hired us, I'd go back.